Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We're exploring vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is 10 tips to invite your lover to practice tantric sex with you. So, yeah, well, this is one of the challenges or one of the, the areas where, where you have to uh, understand how to bring somebody into a tantric sex space so that they really want to come and play with you in that, in the, with that energy. So, if you have been married for a while and you suddenly feel this urge to explore uh, sex from a tantric perspective and you have a, a husband or a wife who is not necessarily wanting to play or who is resisting a bit or who doesn't know what it is, how are you going to communicate with them and what are you going to do to bring them into that space? So the first step, very important, keep it super simple. You don't want to create a whole picture Oh, we are going to merge energies and enter into a cosmic ecstasy and, you know, keep it simple. Bring it to a place where they can really understand what uh, you are talking about here. And it doesn't mean a revolution in their lives. If your partner enjoys their lives, you know, they, are, they have their job and their routine and their habits and you come and you say, look, I'm going to come with something that is going to create a revolution in your existence, they might resist a bit. They might get a little bit scared about it. So keep it simple. The idea is to integrate or include some very simple techniques into your sex life, which is already existing, and uh, and get them to uh, to simply play with it a little. If uh, this is a new lover, and you don't have yet any sexual experience with with them, then it might be easier to bring them into the tantric sex space. So the, that's the first step. You know, simple steps. Really, keep it simple. Don't make, don't give them the full dimension about the cosmic evolution that you are uh, getting into. Second tactic is really have a chat. Okay, sit down with that person and have a conversation about sex, about sexual preferences, and what you would like to to explore. You know, if you uh, are interested into engaging uh, in sexual techniques from a, an energetic perspective, you know, using more the breathing and using uh, a more soft contact and soft touch and slowing down the ejaculation, you know, these kind of things, uh, just have a conversation and let your, your lover know what, uh, what your intentions are and check with them what their intentions are. Um, when you want to invite somebody into the tantric sex space, you become a little bit of their coach or their guide. You are uh, taking a little bit the lead and, and inviting them to, to experience something new. And uh, to do that, you have to be gentle with them. You have to check, you know, it's nothing forceful. Uh, another technique which is really very powerful is simply to integrate you first some techniques that really work. For instance, you can practice some breathing techniques and then the moment you are having intercourse, the moment you are having sex with your lover, partner, wife, husband, you start adding naturally the breathing. And uh, first you practice that yourself. You know, you might be having sex and suddenly you bring awareness to your own individual experience without forcing or inviting your, your partner into that experience. But it will naturally create some form of energetic resonance because you are already practicing it and then it will impact on your, your the sex that you're having with that person. So you can do that with eye contact, you know, being more present, being more aware in the way you are having sex and uh, changing first your own experience of the sexual energy and, uh, and then inviting your lover uh, after that. Another tip, prepare the space. This is really a powerful one. If you start putting some pictures about tantric sex scenes, for instance, you um, download some pictures from Kajurao, from the erotic temples in India, or you put some uh, goddess energy like this one in your, in your space, you put some candles around, remove the, the elements in your bedroom that remind you of work or practical things, you know, start beautifying the place. Once you create the space, you're already inviting a certain spirit in, uh, in the space and, and it polarizes the energy in the environment. So you're going to use that space as a, as a reflection of some qualities that you want to bring into your, your sex life with your lover, partner, wife or, or husband. 
another technique which is a bit more sneaky <laughs> subscribe them to some mailing list or something online that talks about tantric sex uh, you know you go into their the email and you 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 subscribe to something that is like a mailing list on some tantra website or something like that where they are going to start getting some messages and uh, and uh, they will start receiving those those messages and might get intrigued by it. Um, another technique is to get a book, you know, like this one. That's the one uh, I wrote, available on vitalcoaching.com. If you get a hard copy, okay, a paperback like this one or that one, this one is more cosmic and transcendental, but those, this one is with very simple tips that you can start applying in your life straight away. And um, if you leave it around in your bedroom, you know, every now and then you grab it and you read a couple of lines and you check with them, maybe they, they might as well, you know, take it and start checking some, some tips in there. So this is very inspiring. The more elements you have in your house that are going to remind you of that intention about bringing tantric sex in your life, uh, the best, you know, the best it is. I often do that, you know, with a, a couple or somebody that I think would be uh, aligned with developing these qualities. I just give them a copy and then I go back to their house, you know, sometimes a year, two years, three years later and see the book around and they, they tell me that they have been practicing some of that naturally because the, the reminder is already there. So this works really well. Another tip, um, watch some movies or DVDs together, you know, you uh, go on YouTube and you check. Uh, you make a search on tantric sex and see what comes up and uh, you start watching some movies some get some inspiration out there some information that works really well um, another tip which is very important is give them space okay if you become really forceful with lots of intensity most of the time they are going to retreat in a defense mode so it's super important when you communicate that there is no threat there is no pressure there is no demand no begging uh, the way you communicate with your lover must be clean super clean no no aggression no uh, emotional charge be behind what you're doing if what you are saying uh, emotionally to your lover is I resent you I force you I want you to do that you know uh, if you don't do that I'm divorcing you know it's like this is going to create a, an emotional threat and and associate the idea of tantric sex with some some energies and emotions which are not very pleasant so it's super important that you you suggest things you invite them you you ask for permission you know that you stay within a space which is respectful where you're not forcing anybody into that because otherwise it would be creating exactly the opposite of what you want sex is not something that you can force on anybody okay so let's keep that in mind this is a value it's a very specific thing it's always an open invitation that you're sending out It's never something that is forceful same you know i'm recording these videos i'm not telling you you must practice tantric sex no it's like it's an open invitation it's like here's what is available if you are interested by it just go and, and tap into it but it's not something that is forceful in any way um so that's that's an essential aspect of how you communicate with your lover or partner be gentle be kind be open be respectful sure you are not interested by that that's no problem um, and then you find other ways of activating that energy inside of you without necessarily uh, doing that with with them but it's very important to be respectful not everybody will be open to this uh, to these ideas um, another very powerful tip is take the giver role um, you know you can go your to your, your lover and say, you know what, today I want to, um, to give you something. I want to give you a gift. I'm, I just want you to surrender and be totally passive and I want you to experience my touch. And uh, you put some oils on your, uh, some oils on, on your hands and you start messaging, touching them. Sometimes you, are, you might go into something that becomes much more uh, genital sexual activation and stimulation, but it can also be something which is very pleasant and very touch-based uh, touch only and um, that is going to to put them into the receiver uh, role so uh, that's a powerful experience for anybody to receive another tip is go to classes and workshops together uh, check in your area in your town if you live in california you have tons of options there to go to tantra workshops um, otherwise online you have 
courses, so start diving into learning uh, some techniques together. Another possibility is to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with, uh, with an expert, with a, a sexual healer or a tantrika or somebody who is going to be there holding space for, for your couple and guiding you into some very simple techniques. When I do that with couples, the results are always amazing. You know, people are like, wow, my God, this is, this is exciting stuff. We are going to start practicing and integrating those techniques into our lives. So it's very easy, you know, nothing threatening. doesn't mean that you're going to have intercourse there with a, with a therapist. You don't need to expose. Sometimes you are totally dressed and you're simply guided into very simple uh, sexual tantric sex activation techniques. Powerful stuff. Uh, finding a lover or finding somebody with who you can really connect and synchronize is one of the essential aspects of building a juicy, interesting tantric sex life. To finish this video, we are going to do something together. Throw your hands in the sky and say Jaya with me. Jaya! 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 Jaya means victory. May you be victorious in your life. I'll see you soon.